Welcome to the Chart Trader Overview. Chart Trader provides a convenient and flexible way to place, manage, and view your trades directly in a chart window. We will be covering the following topics order and position display, submitting orders, modifying and canceling orders. To open Chart Trader within a chart window, you can either click the Chart Trader button in the Chart Toolbar or enable the Chart Trader property in the Chart Properties window. You can hide the Chart Trader panel while keeping Chart Trader active in the background by selecting Chart Trader Hidden from the Chart Toolbar. The order and position display will display the direction of an open position as well as the quantity in that position, the average entry price of the position, and the unrealized profit and loss of the position. Left clicking in the unrealized profit and loss field will allow you to view unrealized profit or loss in terms of ticks, points, pips, currency, or percent. This can also be changed in the Chart Trader Properties window. Orders can be submitted in Chart Trader in one of two ways either by using the quick buttons near the top of the Chart Trader panel or by right clicking in the Chart panel to place a pending order. The Buy Market and Sell Market buttons will place a market order in the specified direction. The Buy Ask and Sell Ask buttons will place a limit order at the ask price. The Buy Bid and Sell Bid buttons will place a limit order at the bid price. Note that placing a sell order at the ask price or a buy order at the bid price may result in an instantaneous fill due to the position of the order compared to the current market price. The reverse button will close an open position, then enter a market order in the opposite direction with the same quantity as the closed position. If an ATM strategy was attached to the position, a new instance of the ATM strategy will be attached to the new reversed order. The close button will close any open positions displayed on your chart. When right clicking in your chart window, you will be presented with four order options depending upon which side of the current market price you right clicked. In the right click context menu, you can choose a buy or sell limit, stop market, stop limit, or market if touched order. To tie two orders together with one cancels other functionality, you can enable OCO orders before placing an order using either order entry method. To enable OCO orders, first right click in the Chart Trader panel, then click OCO. If one order in an OCO group is filled or canceled, the other will be automatically canceled immediately after. When using OCO orders, it is important to remember to turn OCO off after placing two orders, then turn it back on if you wish to place a new set of OCO orders. OCO functionality can be either native or server-side, meaning that this functionality can either reside on your platform or on your brokerage's order routing servers, depending on which data provider you use. Understanding where your OCO functionality resides is important so that you know what to expect if you lose your data connection or if your platform is closed. Once a pending order has been placed on the chart, it will be displayed in the chart panel with a tag displaying the type and quantity of the order, a price marker in the y-axis that displays the price at which the order currently resides, and a line connecting the price marker and the tag. You can move an active order before it has been filled in one of two ways. You can click the tag once, then click again in the chart where you would like to move the order, or you can right-click the tag, hover your cursor over the order listed, then click Increase Price or Decrease Price. You can also cancel an active order in one of two ways. You can click the X on the order line near the Y axis, or you can right-click the tag, hover your cursor over the order listed, then click Cancel Order. 
NinjaTrader 8 features the ability to attach a working order to an indicator displayed on your chart, automatically moving the order as the indicator value moves. To attach a working order to an indicator, left-click on the order tag, then hold the control key on your keyboard, then left-click once more to attach the order to an indicator. If there are several indicators displayed on your chart, you will be able to select the indicator to which you wish to attach the order. When more than one data series is applied to a chart, you can use ChartTrader to switch between data series, allowing you to place and manage orders on multiple instruments from a single chart window. To select which data series to work with, select it in the Instrument drop-down menu in the ChartTrader panel. Any orders placed will apply to the selected instrument, and orders will only be displayed on the chart for the selected instrument as well. Thank you for viewing the Chart Trader Overview.